enter the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now time for the Highland Pledge. I am a smart, special, valuable leader. I respect myself and I respect others. My words and actions are kind and honest. I accept only my best in all I do. My leadership is what you'll see. I am proud to be me. Hey, 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 Hornets. I'm Anton and I'm Ava. Today is Monday, April 8th. Today's the day four. Today is National Zoo Lovers Day. Lunch choices for the day are... Choice one hamburger. Choice two cheeseburger. Make sure you make your choice in any extras. The birthdays of our spring break were Brennan Pot, Colin Payne, Brayden, Julius, Emma McCameron, Zane Boswell, T. Green, Parker Heinrich, Houston Call, Grayson Payne, Brady Robbins, Nella Moore, Bristol Dukes, Chapel Estes. Luca Nevis, Madeline Roberts, Olivia Graves, Adler Embry, Hayden M. Graham. Come down and get your birthday dog tags. I've got a joke for you. What did the Easter Bunny? What is the Easter Bunny's favorite restaurant? I don't know. I hop. <laughs> <laughs> Miss her. Parker has made his fourth now we say I go. Way to go. Emma Wilcox has made her fourth now we say Argo. Great job. Maddie and Futural have made her fourth nine week eight nine weeks say Argo. Way to go. Jonathan Carter. Wow, Jonathan has worked so hard and is now on addition rocket now. We have a new word of the month today. Or this this month. Hope. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. No, it's your hand. Okay. Come on, Kevin. Okay. Well, good morning, girls. <laughs> Let me get on here really fast. How are we? Good. How are we? So hope is our new word, right? Yes. And we're back at school, and it's rainy, and it's uh, Monday after spring break. Come on, girls. Really? Right, you just got done saying that hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Rainy days and Mondays. I don't know. I know the teachers know that song, don't they, Miss Daly? Uh -huh. Now you you tell me. Rainy day, Monday. We're back in school. Now, what good could come out of that situation? We could learn something new. Okay, Ava yep. says we could learn something new. I like it. What do you think? We could like try to make the best out of how it's raining and like. How we're at school. So, like, <laughs> just trying to make the best of it. Absolutely. I heard many people this morning say 30 some days, right? Miss mm -hmm. Peebler, how many days? 30, exactly. 30 days, exactly. So, if we don't come today, then our 30 days in our summer can't come. I know many of us look forward to summer. But even in the meantime, there are small things along during our day that happen. There are th some things that sort of, you know, don't go our way. And so as your day goes through today, I want you to be thinking about some things that don't exactly go your way and how you could make the best of that situation anyway. It's sort of an attitude. Our, our little animal that you guys see in your classrooms, look around your classroom right now and try to find your poster. There is a butterfly that goes along with hope, and I bet many of you understand why this would go along with hope. We're going to be talking about that in guidance class this month. I know I've got some kindergarten classes that are going to show up. We're going to talk about this butterfly this morning, and we're going to learn about how even sometimes in some dark situations, good things can come, okay? So we've got a video we're going to start out with. Miss Daly, can you help us? As a, as a school, we're going to watch Sam this morning, okay? So we'll have to turn our camera around. Here we go, okay? Okay, go ahead, Daniel. Hey guys, it's Sam here again. Have you ever wished for something? Have you ever thrown a coin into a fountain? 
or blown out candles on a cake and made a wish? Maybe you wished for something you wanted to have, like a new toy or bike. Or maybe you wished you lived where it was warmer or colder, or in a city, or even on a farm. Wishing is fun. It's kind of like daydreaming. But hope, woo, hope is different from wishing. Hope is looking to the future, looking to your future, and believing that things will be better. Hope is setting a goal for yourself that will allow you to have a new opportunity. Hope is understanding that you have the ability to grow and change. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Now, that doesn't mean that bad things happen so that something good can happen. It just means that even in tough times, we can look for a silver lining. We can have hope that things will be different and better. So we're going to start this month like we start all the rest. Whether things have gone your way since I saw you last or not. All together now, let's say the big idea. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Once more, hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. camera this morning that was a little tricky so I love that Sam just gets me fired up y'all love Sam yeah I love Sam too and I think about our teachers I think about our students coming in this morning and you know spring break is supposed to be this awesome time I think for people and sometimes it's not all it's cracked up to be maybe we come in this morning with all kinds of different emotions those emotions that Miss Peebler has shared with us maybe on our mindfulness maybe we come in this morning and we're not feeling as great as what the kid next to us is feeling Let's use some of our mindfulness activities. Let's maybe use our push-pull dangle. Let's use some of our breathing. And let's start to think about how hope could play a part in making our day better. We'll talk more about this in guidance. We'll talk more about this every day right here on the news. Thanks, girls. We've been hoping for warmer weather, and it's getting warmer. We have a high of 72 and a low of 55. Special announcements. We're here. You're at school. <laughs> That's, how you look. That's right. We are here and we are at school. And since we're already here, technically I think we could say there's 29 days left instead of 30 because you already got up, you got dressed, and you came. So great job. I'm so glad everybody's back and I hope you had a wonderful spring break. This week we're going to be working a little bit on getting prepared for our student led conferences that are happening next week. So you're going to be working a little bit on your leadership notebooks and paying close attention to the data that you've been tracking with your goals because your parents or your family are going to come next Tuesday for you to be able to present that to them. So this week is a good prep week and I'm looking for at least six to seven students who would be willing to share their leadership notebook with our Board of Education, which are the people, the, the people in charge of all the schools in Davis County. They're going to be here next Tuesday, and we're going to be making a special presentation to them. So I'm looking, young and old, kindergarten through fifth grade, I'm looking for at least six people who are brave, confident, and proud of the work they've done all year and would be willing to share their notebook with one of our members of the board. So if that's you, tell your teacher, or your teacher might ask you. And if she does, stand up tall. That means you've done something really great. Now. In the month of April, we're going to also be revisiting all of our seven habits. And one of the things we're going to be doing is some small skits to help us really understand how we can live the seven habits. We don't do the seven habits. We try very hard to live them. And so today's skit is going to be about being proactive. And I think you might even see a little bit of hope in there. Addie, come on. I think I'm going to stay right here. Okay. I'm going to try to put this in the nicest way. I don't want to be friends with you and you're not. I'm sorry. Macy, stop. Just because you're my friend doesn't give you the right to bully her. You're right. I'm sorry, Addie. Okay, so let's think a little bit about being proactive. 
things happen in your day that you might see or that you might be part of where you haven't really pushed your pause button. And the example today was saying something hurtful to somebody else simply because you're not having a great day is not okay. And habit number one, being proactive, reminds you to take that deep breath, press your pause button, and make a good choice for yourself and for others. So that's today's little skit, and we'll be having those periodically throughout the month of April. Be on the lookout. If you want to be an actor or an actress, let me know. I might let you do a skit. Last but not least before we leave today, there were some things that happened over spring break in this building. And so I want you to be detectives and see if you can find them. There's at least two things that happened in this building that you can see that are different than when you left last Friday. Wonder if you can figure out what they are. Who knows? Ladies? Teachers, be sure to turn, turn in your attendance after, after the news. news. This is Addison and Ava reporting, reporting to you from the morning news. Peace, Peace out, Highland.